Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Granny back again with a arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover my round one thoughts and predictions for the Sentinel and Electro arenas. So the first thing I like to do, and uh, even with this new structure of five-star arenas, is kind of categorize how I think these arenas will compare to past arenas and, and what kind of clusters do we have for those arena types. And it looks like so far for the five-star feature, for actually all the feature arenas, the five-star, four-star, and three-star, there still seems to be this number for old champs and number for new champs. So for the meantime, we'll stick with that. And obviously Sentinel, as he's new to the game, these will, he'll be a new champ. Um, in the arenas and then lastly when it comes to the four star basic arena which still seem to be holding the similar patterns um, so far again keep in mind we've only had uh, two new kind of bracket arenas even though four in total um, it looks like he'll fit in kind of that mid sorry low interest um, four star basic champ so now that i've kind of categorized these let's take a look at some recent um uh, results past results for these type of categories so the first with the low interest uh, four star basic champ you can see with gamora she came in at 2.16 punisher two point or should i just say two million and then lastly with spider-man symbiote and his he most recently came by as a four star basic champ he came in at 1.8 million so you can see those numbers are constantly well steadily i wouldn't say constantly steadily kind of declining but not significantly just a small drop now, when we look at recent new four star, or should I say feature results, both for the five star and four star results, you can see with um, Killmonger, first round uh, for the five star feature on the left, you can see he went for 35 million. And then uh, in the second round, he went for 37 million. So there was a slight increase actually between round one and round two. And then uh, for round one for the four star feature, people weren't really sure. You can see <laughs> what those cutoffs would be. So that's why he went pretty low at 6.5. But then people figured out kind of what that cutoff would be what it would take to go over and grind in the five-star arena which meant that he kind of normalized i believe a normal normalization around that 10.4 we'll we'll confirm now though with sentinel if it, if uh, 10.4 truly is that kind of new baseline and then you can see the corresponding uh next chartier numbers so what I like to do, not only look at these past results, but also take input from you, the community. And so I always po post a uh, arena preview where I, I um, also post um, corresponding polls where I get your opinion on what you think the cutoffs will be in. So let's start first with the five-star feature arena. You can see over 200 people voted. And thank you very much for taking the time to vote there. You can see that a majority of folks, over 50%, 54% to be exact, thought that he'll go over, Sentinel will go to that 36 million number, closer to that second round that we saw for kids. Killmonger. And here are some of the thoughts. So wait, what came back? A character that looks could be a roadblock in AW, an annoying defender, a character that has some very different mechanics that seems good. Also, people are still ready to grind high points for five-star features as there's no reliable way to get them. Um, of course, other than the Grandmaster Crystal, but um, that's not very reliable to uh, wait what's point there. So um, that's what he or she was thinking. Let's see what Matt Kopech was thinking here. He is new and different from any other champion in the contest. But even with uh, that being the point, Matt thought he'd only still come in at 30 to 33 million. So there's 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 definitely a thought that it'll be over 30. So it seems like with new champs, most pe the community's feeling, at least those folks who take the time to vote on my polls, felt like um, you know 30 million is the new basement at best and it was probably more to like 35 million plus to where we're going to see new champs kind of land with these arenas so then we jump over to the four star feature arena question um you can see that there wasn't a clear majority of folks but the biggest number was 40 percent and uh they felt 204 of you felt anyway that um sentinel four star were landing right between 9.5 to 11 million and uh, we can see Mal Games provided his perspective on this one. Definitely around the 10 million mark. In my opinion, the first round Killmonger cutoff was a dud. Around where most people sat out to see how cutoffs were going to be affected. Most of their grinders came back in the second round. Now that people know based off of Killmonger's cutoffs roughly where new champion cutoffs will be, I think that this will fairly be close to cut off Killmonger's second round. I couldn't agree more. Utility-wise, Killmonger seems like the better champion overall in offense and defense compared to Sentinel, and most of the hype around the new champions is around Bishop, Sabretooth, rather than Sentinel. That was definitely a mouthful that uh, Mal Games provided there, and thank you very much for taking the time to put that in there. And actually, I agree with most of what you said there, but you can see kind of his thinking or hers thinking of of what uh, the numbers look like coming in around that 10 million mark there which again kind of if there is a majority from the 200 votes that took place that's where most of the community feels somewhere between 9.5 to 11 million again right around where that second round for killmonger went 
Then uh, when we look at the four-star basic arena, you can see that most folks, again, there was no clear majority, but real close to at least 50% was at 1.7 to 1.9 million, which is what we last saw for Spider-Man Symbiote. And here's some of the reason why. Rem, you can see, just old. That was the opinion of a lot of people, just an old champ. And then uh, when you look at Priest Williamson, finally, Priest, this is your chance. His Electro Watch, a lot of us were waiting for Blade. He was waiting for uh, Electro Watch to begin. So uh, good luck, Priest, on grabbing him. Hopefully that 1.7, 1.9 will be an easy uh, grind for you. And then lastly, Jeremy Husband, because of very low interest due to low health, pool glass cannon status, and old, as a lot of people said, this is good for him because I have him. Yet he's not duped, so I'll be going for him. And I actually saw this coming quite a bit. So I get it that this is an old champ, and a lot of folks have him. But a lot of folks might be going for that dupe. So we might see a little bit of a tick. I wouldn't see a, maj a major tick up in the cutoff. But there could be a little higher uh, tick just for folks trying to get a dupe of a champ they already have. So anyway, with the input from the community, and thanks again for everybody who took the time to um, to vote. And then uh, based off of the past results, here are my thoughts around round one um, predictions, basically, where, where the cutoffs will be first. So, And again, these are very rough predictions. We only have a couple new arena uh, new new uh, arena cutoff results to go by based off of the new structure. So keep that in mind. This is really kind of we're still figuring out what the the real results will look like. But anyway, with Sentinel, I think with the five star feature arena, his first cutoff, first round cutoff would be right around 37 million, with a top 10 percent at 8.5 million. Jumping over to the four star feature, I think um, his cutoff will be 10.5 million, and the top 10 percent at 4.5 million. And then when it comes to the four-star basic, I think we'll see Electro come in at 1.9 million with 11 to 25% at 1.55 million. And then lastly, for the three-star feature sit, no, I think that'll cut off will be right around 1 million with 11 to 25% at 550,000. Now, these are the cutoffs for the veteran bracket when it comes to what I think is like a safe grind zone would be. So that's the where I think the cutoffs will land. And that's kind of where predictions are really at. Where would the cutoff be? Always try to get within 10% of that. But here's a good safe grind target to go above that. I think if you really want Sentinel, go to 38 million for the four star or for the five star feature arena. For the four star feature arena, go to 11 million, maybe even 12 million. For Electro, 2.1, 2.2 million will work. And for the uh, three star feature, go to one, again, 1.1 or 1.2 million to make sure you snag Sentinel. 1.1 million should be more than enough. So anyway, these are my thoughts both on the actual cutoffs plus a safe grind target for the, the veterans bracket. When it comes to the beginners and, and intermediate bracket, there's a lot of um, variation in these. So and, and there's not a good safe source to get um, – or not safe source, I should say consistent source – to get uh, past results, so I can't do any true trend analysis against it. So these are just some rough ranges based off of input that from you, the community, on what you've landed, and plus my own personal experience over the last year or so is playing two different accounts coming through in here. And so uh, the first was the beginner's bracket. I think the three-star feature right around 245, 250, 250,000. The four-star basic 1.2 million, and the four-star feature 1.2 million as well. And then when it comes to the intermediate bracket, you need to go about 550,000, maybe 500,000. Make sure you get the three-star feature champ for the four-star basic. Go to 1.1 million for the four-star feature. Go to 1.8 million. Again, these are just some very rough ranges, but at least to give you a ballpark estimate to go after as you're grinding these arenas. So these are my thoughts again for uh, round one of the new Sentinel and um, Electro arenas. Would love to hear your thoughts. Throw it on down in the comment section. We can talk about it there, especially if you have any questions and especially if you have any difference of opinion. Would love to hear about it. Throw it on down in the comment section and happy to talk it there. Um, other than that, if you like this video, we really appreciate you uh, hitting that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel, we really appreciate it. Subscribe. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.